Welcome back again to Joe Stunner Boxing. How are you doing? Well, if you've watched uh, the Friday night DAZN broadcast, you're doing pretty well, aren't you? Because what a great card that was from Spain. Um, five fights. All of them had something to offer. Some of them, or a couple of them, were, you know, I guess you'd say prospects meeting each other, putting their unbeaten records on the line. Uh, a couple of people, uh, a couple of youngsters fighting um, more experienced fighters and gaining a lot of valuable experience. Um, one absolute barn burner and headlined by um, Sandor Martin, who was coming off that terrific victory over M uh, Mikey Garcia last year. Martin um, from Spain, from Barcelona. This is where the card took place. Uh, really excellent night's boxing. It really was. And you can make a... <laughs> You can make a a case for the Sandor Martin Jose Felix bout being the the, the least entertaining in ter in terms of raw excitement, but that's not to say it was a bad fight. It wasn't a bad fight. It was a very very good fight, uh, primarily because Martin won a unanimous decision, almost um, almost a whitewash. I think two cards had it a hundred to ninety, and one had it ninety nine, ninety one. I think, but. That doesn't tell the story. The story was of just how uh, impeccable Sandor Martin was with this performance against a rugged, tough Mexican guy. You know, not not exactly top 10 opponent, but nevertheless, it's, sometimes it's what you do in the ring and how you go about your work. And Sandor Martin, if boxing is the art of being hit and of, of hitting and not being hit, then Sandor Martin is a very, very, very good fighter and someone who's going to be very difficult to beat because he controls the the, the, the range perfectly lots and lots of feints he's a southpaw extremely slick extremely awkward uh, very very fast loves the one two the, the right jab left cross really quick delivers it really quick and with extreme accuracy from distance which is really difficult to do and again I know that Jose Felix the opponent that he, uh, he, he near as damn it whitewashed, isn't an elite fighter. But nevertheless, he's a rugged, tough Mexican who didn't stop trying, even though he was being completely outclassed. In the 10th round, he was still trying to look for openings. Martin, with all those feints, with all that speed, excellent footwork. On the odd occasion, just as when he fought uh, Mikey Garcia, on, on the odd occasion when jo uh, Jose Felix got close, Martin... Um, wasn't scared to stand and fight and unleash a barrage of punches and always had the last say. So, and th this is a guy who, although he's slick, he's stylistically, as I was watching it, I was thinking, well, he's like a cross between Harold Graham and, and Nicolino Loche. You know, great defensive moves, but also isn't afraid to, once he's in range and once he's once the distance has been shortened, he'll let his hands go. It's not like he grabs and holds, ties you up. No, 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 no. He lets his hands go. If he's on the rare occasions when he finds his back against the ropes, he'll let his hands go. There's none of this, um, oh, I don't know, you know, spoiling, um, killing the clock, none of that business. There are occasions in rounds when Martin, you know, like 10 second periods of, of certain rounds where he won't throw a punch. He'll just be fainting, he'll just be waiting, and then suddenly he'll explode. I mean, this is a really talented, tough guy, Sandor Martin. Um, offensively very good. He's only got 13, um, 13 knockouts in 40 wins, but he doesn't go for the knockout because he doesn't need to. Uh, just a very, very well-schooled, highly intelligent. They talk about the ring IQ. This guy's got it. Highly intelligent, well-schooled fighter who's going to be very, very difficult to beat. Um he was a revelation against Mikey Garcia. He's actually got two defeats on his record, which shows that the zero doesn't matter. If you have fights earlier on in your career and you lose them, but you learn, that's fine. You know, the undefeated record is not that important. Being undefeated your entire career is an achievement, but there are plenty of fighters who certainly were not undefeated who, who were far greater than certain fighters who have been undefeated. And Sandor Martin, I think he lost to Anthony Yidget in 2017, I think it was. Um, and he lost a, 
Um, that was on points. That was over 12, 12 rounds, I think. Um, so that's five years ago. He hasn't been beaten since. And prior to that, he lost a sort of, I think it was against another Spanish prospect, um, La Pelle. I don't know, I can't remember the guy's first name. He lost over eight rounds on points. There's a learning fight. And this card, this zone card from Spain, had several fights where I'm going to do a few other videos about certain fights because I think I think they're interesting to sort of dissect. But there were certain fighters on that bill who lost their, their unbeaten records, but they will be better fighters for their experience tonight. You know, they were in there with tough, grizzled old vets or maybe a fellow prospect and they didn't come out on top, but they will learn from that. I'm, I'm going to do other videos um, but getting back to Martin versus uh, Felix, um, Jose Felix, you may remember him last year. He fought uh, Tyron McKenna and lost on points, I think, four years ago, 2018, I think it was. He fought Isaac Cruz and got stopped in three rounds. Um, and Cruz, of course, went on to lose a close decision to um, Tank, Tank Davis, Javonta Davis. So... You know, Jose Felix, a tough, tough Mexican kid. He's not going to be a top tenner, but he'll make a few quid. Um, and he does have 39 wins, and I think 30 of them are by knockout. So he can he can punch a bit. He'll make a living, you know, as a good gatekeeper type. But Sandor Martin, he's got to be looking at a world title fight now because he's earned it. He's so, so good. I mean, this guy is really good. Um, razor sharp reflexes. Really, really talented guy. Um, and... You know, quite tall and thin. He looks tall and thin, or he did in this fight. But it's not like he's he's an imposing figure. But my God, he's slippery. This guy's an eel. You you won't be able to pick him up. Uh, he'll he'll wriggle free somehow. And like I said, up close, there's no tying up. He'll he'll let his hands go. He'll. This is a good fighter. Controls the range perfectly. I mean, he's always on the periphery. You know, and you faint in, and, and you're looking to try and find a little gap there aren't any or they're very very rarely aren't are, they're very very rarely um the gaps appear for you to even get close to him never mind land punches so yeah very impressive from sandra martin did you see this fight did you see this card if not and you've got the zone watch the whole card don't just watch this fight this is a good fight you know if, if you want to show a young kid out of the box how to hit and not be hit this is a good fight good example but the whole card had a bit of everything very, a great deal of skill crossroads fights old guys against youngsters um an absolute barn burner which i'm gonna do a video on which i'll get to another time but yeah great card on the zone um and you know very no frills we didn't have to suffer you know sweet caroline and it wasn't full of boozy fucking cretins you know doing stupid chants and it was just good quality boxing five top bouts um, every fighter, a real fighter, and I love this sort of stuff. You know, this this, this is my kind of card. Go on, go on the zone and watch it. Um, from Barcelona, from Spain, and yeah, well done to Sandor Martin. Bad luck to Jose Felix. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think. If you're new to this channel, we celebrated getting to 400 subscribers last week or no, earlier this week. Thank you for subscribing. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the like button, share the video, leave your comments. You know the drill. And um, take care of yourselves as always. I will speak to you soon. I'm sure this isn't the last video I'm going to do about this card because it was a good one. Check it out on the zone.